So traders, as you can see, I made $44,000 in 24 hours trading Bitcoin US dollar. Now let's discuss the trading strategy. Why did I place this trade and whether I was lucky or not? Now this is Bitcoin US dollar on the five minute time frame. I cannot scalp the Forex market since they only work on Monday to Friday. So I had to stick with Bitcoin US dollar. Now the trading strategy we used is the four moving averages. So we need the 25, 50, 100 and 200 moving average lines on our chart. Now if you're new and if you want to use this strategy go inside indicators type in moving average click on it click on the settings icon and copy all of these moving averages that I'm showing you now. So usually when I analyze my trades I don't want it to be you know this cluster of indicators so I usually just hide a few of them leave the 25 and 50 running. So this was trending towards the downside right. I wanted to wait for a break to happen so we can see this downtrend over here and we saw this push towards the upside. Now if we have a look at the 100 and 200 we saw this push of the 25 and 50 moving averages breaking through them right with the push exhaustion push scenario. However we had the 200 and 100 moving averages crossing over here. So we really need to wait until this is crossed before we can enter on the five minute time frame. So that's why I did. I waited for all of these candlesticks to stop you know consolidating and push through. When it pushed through with a nice bullish and golfing candlestick this is where I entered my trade. So I long the position over here. Now my initial plan was to not have a target. So I did not place a target. I did not place a take profit level. All I did was stop loss just below this area zone. This was around the 3385 level I believe. Let's have a look. Uh, SL33850. So this is where I placed my stop loss level and I did not place the take profit level. Now let's just get this straight. I did not intend to make that much money. This much money in 24 hours is totally crazy and I got super, super lucky and I'm very happy about that. However, I did want to make some money. So this strategy I thought is good because it got a nice bullish engulfing candlestick, right? We entered our trade over here. Uh, I knew that the trend is going to continue and I saw this boom it was nice continuing you know had a little consolidation pulled back off the moving averages so that's why I would have never closed the trade anyway and I knew the lowest area is over here. Plus if we have a look over here Bitcoin climbs as Elon Musk says Tesla likely to accept it and when I saw that I was like right Elon Musk is planning to accept Bitcoin very likely he will accept Bitcoin since he is a Bitcoin investor more than likely Bitcoin will rise. So my plan was definitely never to sell Bitcoin. I was always bullish with Bitcoin especially since we already had that big downfall for Bitcoin right. It fell down to around 20 something thousand and it pulled back and it pulled back pretty good and that's why I based my opinion. I used the four moving averages bullish engulfing candle you know uh, push exhaustion push scenario as always and as you can see it kept making new bullish engulfing candles on the five minute time frame and kept climbing. And as you can see now the climb has continued. It shoot towards the upside. On the five minute time frame it looks brutal. Look how it shot towards the upside. It's actually insane that I caught this currency trade. I did not expect it so when I woke up in the morning and sat down on my computer I nearly fell off my chair. 40 grand in profit, 24 hours. That's pretty damn crazy. Right I believe I bragged enough about my $45,000 account as you can see equity 550597 so I'll just close it off now. So $50,831 currently in my trading account which is super insane. So GBP Swiss franc as you can see following three moving averages and I'll explain in just a second. Let's just open up a few of these trades. Let's do four lot size. Sell two of these trades. Yeah big ones I know but let me just explain why I'm placing these trades. As you can see the moving averages 25 and 50 are going down. The 100 is well below the candlesticks right with the bearish engulfing candle. New lower low right. This was the previous one as you can see nice supported area has now been broken. Bearish engulfing candle. Very likely the next area of support is this area zone. As you can see this area zone is going to be crossed with the 200 moving average right. So this moving average over here the purple one will be crossed with the support zone right. So very likely a nice push exhaustion push scenario will happen. That's why I'm placing this trade as a sell and I'm quite confident in this trading strategy. The four moving average strategy is super good if 
everything's trending towards the downside or the upside at the same time but we can also place a trade if 25 50 and 100 moving averages are in this case shooting towards the downside and we can see the 200 moving average acting as a potential support zone this is where we want to exit our trade potentially because we could definitely see you know a push back towards the upside which is what we don't want obviously because we are selling the currency pair now let's wait until the market does a little bit of movement but if if the market will decide to turn back around near the moving averages of 100, 25, 50, I'll place another trade even with a bigger lot size because I believe it will probably at least retest this area zone so we will have you know a few pips here and there to make if this does happen but we'll see and i'll come back to you guys in just a minute so as you can see traders bearish engulfing candle after bearish engulfing candle still shooting downwards probably till the 200 moving average which is where we likely want to exit our trade if we quickly have a look at our meta trader we can see it was 20 dollars in profit both trades now uh, pulled back a little bit four dollars in profit but we was minus 100 obviously because of the spread difference the brokers have okay i'm getting a little bit bored now as you can see bearish engulfing candle after bearish engulfing candle near the 200 moving average line as i said it's probably going to be supported and shoot back up to retest the moving averages before potentially uh, shooting down with a push exhaustion push scenario if we have a look over here 43 43 uh it just shot down a little bit uh, oh there we go it's going down again so 73 dollars 47 dollars really i might wait for 100 dollars or something like that and close it off i'm not too sure but i've been waiting for you know at least 20 minutes now the markets are slowing down since it is past six o'clock so the london session is already closed we might not see as much volatility but as you can see shooting towards the downside uh and yeah you know what i'll close it off okay i'm happy with that obviously not 40 grand impressive 60 dollars hey profits profit and that's the way you scalp the forex markets and you can definitely use the same trading strategy i just showed you when swing trading so four hourly to the daily time frames or just day trading so one hourly and below really does work a great strategy and as i said if you see this scenario over here whether it's towards the downside or the upside you know the 25 50 and 100 moving averages are below in this case use the 200 as your support zone where you want to exit your trade because very likely what will happen is this area zone will be respected before it starts to shoot back up to respect the moving averages and what will likely happen is a nice squeeze pattern as you can see the price will be be squeezed and if the market shoots back up it will start a new uptrend if the market decides to shoot down it will be a push exhaustion push scenario towards the downside following the five minute downwards pattern and if we have a look what the hedge funds are doing great british pound is currently being sold off from 21,000 to nearly 8,000 to minus 3,000 and the swiss franc in this case is from the 7,000 to 8,000 so this past week is increasing by an orders which means gbp swiss frank very likely will continue a little downtrend for this week in some cases i love using currency strength meters as you can see the swiss franc 6.9 in power versus the gbp which is over here 4.4 in power which means obviously the trend will continue we can have a look at the one hourly time frame and we can see the swiss has been stronger than the gbp on the hourly time frame so you can kind of have a look what's going on kind of reassure yourself that the trade you are willing to take will actually be profitable or not and as you can see if we just come back gbp swiss franc look at this i told you it shot towards the 200 moving average and it's starting to shoot back up it might break it and then continue its way towards the downside with a push exhaustion push scenario but it is very likely as the 200 moving average is a strong supported area that it could pull back towards these three moving averages and continue to shoot down and if this would happen let's say it comes back towards the upside then we get a bearish engulfing candle it could be a nice trading opportunity again towards the downside to retest this 
previous supported area now that's it from me lions hopefully you learned something if you did smash that like button join our trading group we are smashing the forex markets last week we did not lose a trade and that's it for now lions have a wonderful day stay safe and goodbye